Hi there, once again, welcome to Ayutech. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the sum product function in Excel. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to use the rank function in Excel. If you are yet to watch that video, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the link in the description so that you can go and watch that tutorial. So I have a product here. Let's say we have score and then we want to look at, we want to sum up our top performing products. It could be sales, it could be anything. So you can use this method to at least get a total for maybe the number of let's say, let's say six performing products for a particular duration or a year. So let's say you want to get a top performing products in this list. So you want to get a top six. You want to sum up the top six out of this list. You can easily use the sum product function to do that. And it's a bit technical. In my previous lesson, we can easily use the rank function to rank this score so like i said i'm going to leave the link below so that you can easily go and then watch that tutorial but today let's focus on how to use the sum product function remember you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new video so i'm going to show how to use the sum product let's say we want to get the top five products or score within this list and then we can sum them up we can use the sum product to do that so i'm going to demonstrate that for you to see so you to use the equal to sign and we use the sum product. So this is a function. So the sum product, you hit your tab key and it's going to accept an array. So an array is just a, a group of values. Okay. So we basically want to get a top performance. So that's a high value. So we use a large keyword, the word large. So once you use a large keyword, it's going to now pick some array. So we need to select the values that we want. So what we need now is this score. We want to get a large values. We want to get a top performing values from here. So we're going to select this entire column. We want to select the top six, okay? We want to sum up the top six. So like as you can see from this column, I have top six. I want to get the top six and then add them using the sum product function. So this is basically how the uh, function is going to look like. And we have the sum product, the large, that means we want the top performing values then we select this entire column like this we select this entire column then you bring comma there is an array the next thing we need is the values that we want okay we want the top six so you put that into a curly bracket like this so we want what sorry we want six so we're going to be one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six so we want the top six performing score okay we want the top six from the list so we open the bracket we check we open the bracket twice we need to close it that number of times and then we hit the enter key so once you press the enter it's going to give you it's going to sum up the top six product from this list remember to take note of the function again we have the sum product into bracket large we want the top the high the highest values okay so the large and we select the entire column where we want our products, where we have the score. We want to get the top performing values or the top performing score. We want six out of that. Okay, we want to sum up the top six out of this list. So you select this and you bring comma and we want just a six and you have to put that into a curly bracket. Okay. And that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, up to six. So just check the number of times you open your curly bracket and you close it that number of times. And this is actually going to give you the top performing. It's going to sum up the top value. We can easily demonstrate. So we've been able to use the sum function to calculate and get our total. Okay, for the top six score within this list. So we can easily do a check and see whether what we've done with the formula, the sum product function. We can easily check and see if truly the formula we used actually worked so we can easily do some random check by selecting some value from this list the top six values from this list and see if really we're going to get 275 so this is going to display at the status bar here and then we'll monitor it so i think 75 78 is one of my top scores 90 is one i have 23 is one 54 is one so we have one two three four we have 15 is also one 
and then now we need the last one so out of the rest we see 13 is the next highest score so we select 13 you can see down here the sum over 273 so this is saying that the count is 6 and we've been able to get the 273 meaning the formula we use actually worked for us so you can see using the sum product function you can easily aggregate or give you the total of the top performing values that you want to sum up so you can easily use this to generate your sales for a particular product maybe the top six products that are performing you can easily do that and if you want let's say you want even five just remove this from there and you have five so this time around we want just a top five scores and it's going to give you that value so basically this is how to do to use this formula okay the sum product to actually sum up the top performing value whatever figures you want you can easily use that so i'm going to calculate that so like i said i'm going to leave the, i'm going to leave a link below this tutorial for you to at least go and watch my video on how to do the wrong function in excel so remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content so thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial so, like come your way another time Remember to keep visiting IGTech and subscribe and share this video with friends. Bye-bye.